diabetes mellitus is made up of two words diabetes which is a greek word meaning to pass through a large discharge of urine and a latin word mellitus meaning sweet as the name suggest the literal meaning of diabetes mellitus is to pass large quantity of sweet urine that is glucosuria and polyuria which is an important clinical manifestation of this disease by definition diabetes mellitus is a group of metabolic disorders sharing the common feature of hyperglycemia in healthy individuals during fed state carbohydrates in the food are broken down into glucose molecules glucose is taken by blood stream to different organs of the body the beta cells of pancreas are sensitive to blood glucose concentration high blood glucose will stimulate insulin release from pancreas the sole purpose of insulin is to decrease blood glucose levels insulin binds to its receptors on target cells and this binding of insulin to its receptors initiate a cascade of events inside the cell that causes glucose uptake into the cell from blood stream the process of insulin synthesis release and its mechanism of action are described under the heading of insulin endocrinology you can find the link to that video in description type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which failure of self tolerance causes destruction of pancreatic beta cells resulting in absolute deficiency of insulin lack of insulin is going to impair glucose uptake into target cells and glucose will stay in the blood resulting in hyperglycemia therefore type 1 diabetic patients require exogenous insulin for their survival without exogenous insulin they develop serious metabolic complications such as diabetic ketoacidosis in type 2 diabetes the pancreatic beta cells are perfectly healthy and produce enough insulin in response to blood glucose but the problem is this insulin is either unable to attach to its receptors on target cells or the target cells do not respond to insulin binding and therefore cells cannot import glucose and glucose stays in the blood in other words type 2 diabetics are insulin resistant the glucose that is present in blood will continue to stimulate pancreas to secrete more insulin despite not changing the fact that insulin resistance is present in early stages of this disease pancreatic beta cells try to compensate for insulin resistance by hyper secretion of insulin however at some point the compensatory hyper function of beta cells is followed by burnout and beta cell failure causing chronic hyperglycemia and long standing diabetes other than genetic factors the most important risk factor for type 2 diabetes is obesity particularly central obesity and sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise in early stage type 2 diabetes can be managed non pharmacologically by weight loss through dietary modification and healthy lifestyle that can reduce insulin resistance in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes persistent high blood glucose will travel to kidneys and excreted out of the body this is called glucose urea glucose in urine as glucose is a solute it will take more water to dissolve in it so the person will eventually excrete more water that is called polyuria 
excessive urination. Polyuria causes profound loss of water and electrolytes resulting in dehydration. Dehydration caused by renal water loss triggers the osmoreceptors in brain causing excessive thirst that is called polydipsia. Lack of insulin in type 1 and insulin resistance in type 2 can lead to polyphagia which means an urge to eat more. When insulin is not there or if it is not functioning properly, glucose will not go in, into the cells and these starving cells and tissues will create a sense of hunger. Polyuria, polydipsia and polyphagia are the classic triad of diabetes mellitus. Clinical diagnosis of diabetes is made by investigating blood glucose levels. There are certain tests for that purpose which are fasting plasma glucose, a random plasma glucose, oral glucose tolerance test and HbA1c also known as glycated hemoglobin. Prediabetes is when the blood sugar level is at the borderline higher than normal but lower than diabetics. Prediabetes may or may not progress to diabetes.